Hello, uh, welcome to another video wine tasting rating review from winemiser.com. Trying to highlight some great wines that are under $20 here. This is a pick um, from Washington State. It's from the Horse Heaven Hills area by uh, Columbia Crest. Horse Heaven Hills, Washington State, they have one of the best vineyards in America is theirs, the Shampoo Vineyard. This is not from the Shampoo Vineyard, but it's the same AVA. So uh, it's a great place to grow uh, Cabernet grapes. Uh, the wine, like I said, is from Columbia Crest. It was rated 90 points by Wine Spectator. Pick this up at the Rite Aid Drug Store in the, the Pearl in Portland for $12, $11.99. And I had this open for an hour. Give the glass a little time to breathe and everything. And uh, all right, let's get going on this. So you can see the color is dark. Got a very almost black wine. Oh, and even from back here, I'm starting to uh, get the nose a little bit. There is a very interesting components here. Ooh. This is uh, on the nose. It's um, cassis. Yes, cassis. Uh, a little bit of vanilla. It's probably the oak and kind of a floral component. Um, I don't know. It's not like a. If you've ever been in the spring where the uh, cherry blossoms come down and that's kind of a light floral. It's not cherry blossom, but it's similar. Not lavender. The smell is like a floral between a cherry blossom and a lavender. It's part of this nose. Big cassis. Yes, big cassis. All right, let's give this a taste. Yes. You got uh, a little black currant, and you got the cassis in there. There is definite vanilla in this. It's the oak influence. Uh, floral note is good. Um, this is not like a Cal huge fruit bomb California cab. This is much more uh, subtle and nuanced. Um, I've had uh, a few Bordeaux that have similar characteristics, especially on, on the right bank. Hmm, not uh, hard to say. One Specter gave this 90 points. Uh, I'm not going to be that generous. I'm going to go a point lower. This is definitely a uh, very nice wine. If um, myself, my tet palate is more for the massive hedonistic fruit bombs, the bruisers. This is not a bruiser, but I still enjoy it. Um, lighter, 89. Uh, it's, it's got more of a classic Bordeaux flavor than a California fruit bomb, which uh, for a lot of people is nice. Uh, big chewy tannins, nice acid, uh, nice finish, uh, full on the mid palate. This is a well put together wine. I give it 89 points. Uh, I'm not going to go wine spectator, but yeah, definitely this is a good value. Columbia, Columbia Crest, they won uh, 2009 uh, Wine of the Year for their uh, Cabernet, I think it was the 2006 Cabernet Reserve. Uh, but they do a lot of value in stuff. They have the Two Vines label and some other Columbia Crest things. Uh, this is good. Definitely seek this out. This is available almost everywhere. If you're in a drugstore, uh, if you're at Costco, wherever, if you see this wine, definitely pick it up. Uh, for $12, you can't beat that price for what you get in the bottle. Hmm? Thank you very much. Also, before we go, I'm trying to jumpstart the comments on winemiser.com. So far, I've had one comment on the blog. And to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is go to winemiser.com, find this post about the Horse Heaven Hills uh, Cabernet, leave a comment, and what I will do is whoever leaves the best comment on uh, March 5th, I'll go and check, and I will roll this poster up, got a couple of them left, and uh, put it in a poster tube, and I will mail it to you for free. So if you like Bruce Springsteen, 
Get yourself a free Bruce Springsteen concert poster. It's from the Devils and Dust tour, I think 2005. I've been sitting around for a while. Uh, so yeah, definitely do that. And uh, check out the Horse Heaven Hills. Cheers, this little wine miser.